Praise the Lord. Welcome to our brief Bible reflections. We thank God for his love and grace upon our lives. And uh, today we are looking at the book of Proverbs chapter 16. And I will read verse number 1 and 2. Proverbs 16 verse 1 and 2. The Bible says, To humans belong the plans of the heart, but from the Lord comes the proper answer of the tongue. All a person's ways seem pure to them, but motives are weighed by the Lord. Praise be to God. Today we will look at verse number one, where we are emphasizing on um, the human plans and God's answer. The, humans, the human plans and God's answer. We acknowledge that God in his own way, you know, has given you and I the ability, the power to plan. And what the writer says is that to humans belongs the plans of the heart. So God has allowed us to plan, 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 plan. And as we plan, part B of verse number one helps us to see that in all our plans, we must involve God. God has not told us not to plan anything. He has given us the leeway. One, we must acknowledge that uh, we are created in God's image and likeness. We have been empowered more than any other creature. So God has empowered us with the ability to plan, you know, to even think about tomorrow. So the writer reminds us that uh, this belongs to us as human beings, but, and the key word here is but, from the Lord comes the proper answer of the tongue. Any other answer, anything else may not perfect your plans. We must learn to depend on God. This is the emphasis. God has not told us not to plan. He has given us the freedom the ability to plan and think even about tomorrow and next year and uh, some days in the future. But in all this, it is only God who can perfect our plans. Depending on God is very key. He has given us the grace, the confidence that we can think beyond. Since we are made in his image, it is Good to know that we must have the heart preparation, that plan for what you want to do next. But as you plan, remember, involve the Lord. Anything that you plan in your heart, in your mind, involve the Lord. With the wisdom that God has given us, we must depend on this voice. Because the Bible says, but from the Lord comes the proper answer of the tongue. The proper answer reminds us that we must recognize that in our ability to plan, in our ability to do different things, we must depend on the Lord for the answer of the tongue. Release your plans to God. Involve him in all what you plan. Allow God to chart the way for you. This verse or the, the first verse of uh, Proverbs 16 helps us to see that God does not uh, approve laziness, ignorance. No, he has given us the capacity, yes, to plan. But as we plan, we allow him to take the lead. We invite him, we involve him. And in all this, we shall be assured of success. May you invite God in your plans this week as we start a new week. May you invite God, even as we wrap up the month of September, may you invite God as you take the next step in your life. And when you invite him, the proper answer of the turn will approve that answer will give you the courage to move on. May the Lord bless you. God keep you. The plans of the heart belongs to man. But that final word comes from the Lord.
It is only God who can perfect our plans. God bless you. God keep you. Have a lovely week. Shalom.